Hello, hello, welcome to lesson 15. Today, we are going to talk about functions in a class slash object. So far, we covered the init function, which is used for creating objects and also setting up the properties inside it. So basically, an object is just a container that holds properties together. Now that we have all these properties together, we can build really cool things with it. For example, let's create an object to represent a square. So a square has one unique property where basically all sides are equal. So let's name this property the length. Nice, and with the square, we can do some cool operations on it. For example, we can calculate the area and also the perimeter of the square. So let's start with that and let's jump into code. Cool, let's start by creating the square class. So type class and now let's call it square. So remember the first letter is capitalized, then end the statement with a colon and now hit enter. And now let's create the init function. So def underscore underscore init underscore underscore. And now open the parenthesis and the first parameter is self. And now let's add another parameter called length to keep track of the length of the square. And now let's end it with a colon and now hit enter. And now inside the body of the function, let's use the self parameter and do dot length equals length to set the length property on the square object. Now let's create a new function that will calculate the area of the square. Now let's hit enter and then enter again and backspace. And now let's define the area function. So def area. So I just want you to notice that these defs line up together and they're all inside the class square. Cool. So now open the parentheses and the first parameter is self. And for this function, we don't need to pass the length property. Now inside the function, we can access the length property with self.length. So let's do return self.length times self.length. And we can also calculate the area by taking the length to the power of two. To do that, all we have to do is remove this and put two multiplication signs and add a two at the end to get the power of two. Cool, now let's test this out. Uh, let's create a variable called square one and make it equal square. And here, as you can see, we need to pass a length. So let's give it a four. And now let's print this square out, square one, and let's click run. And now as you can see, we see a square object. One cool thing that we can do is that we can create a custom print message for an object. To do that, it's very simple. Let's go back inside our square class. And in here, let's add another function. So enter, enter, and let's create the function def. And the name of this function is special. So it's underscore, underscore, str, underscore, underscore, and, and open the parentheses and pass self. Close it with a colon. Hit enter. Cool. And now inside the function, we can just return a custom message. For example, we can just return square like this. And if we click run, we're just going to see square. But now let's be a bit more descriptive and let's add the length as well. So we can just do dash length and then let's add a colon and let's do some string formatting. So let's pass one parameter. So let's do zero and let's do dot format. And now let's pass self dot length and now let's hit run. And as you can see, we get square dash length four. So now we have a more descriptive message for this square. Cool. And now let's use the area function. So now we can just do print square one dot area. And then we open the parentheses. So here we don't need to pass a self. Uh, so now let's click run. And as you can see, we got 16, which is four times four. Great. Now let's try this again with a different square. So let's copy this and paste. And now let's change the length to 16. And let's call this square two and update this and this. And now let's click run. And here we got two squares, one length 14 and one length 16. And here we also got the area. 16 times 16 is 256. Cool. Now I want you to try this yourself. Can you write a function to calculate the perimeter of a square? Feel free to pause this video and try it yourself. Nice. Now let's add a function to calculate the perimeter of the square. So let's go to line seven and hit enter and let's type df perimeter and then open the parentheses and here let's pass it self and now let's end the statement with a colon and hit enter and now let's just return self dot length multiplied by four because there are four sides to a square and now let's hit enter just to space things out and now let's test the perimeter function so let's copy line 17 and paste it and change this to perimeter and let's do the same for square two so let's copy and paste and use perimeter and now let's click run Cool, and as you can see, the perimeter is 16 for length four, and it's 64 for length 16. Cool, so as you can see, by using an object, our code is more organized. So now we have this square object, and we have these functions area and perimeter, and it's very obvious what they do. 
Whereas if we didn't have these objects, we'll just have these functions called area and perimeter, and it may be clear, but not that clear for what they're used for. For example, this area only works for a square, but instead, if we had a triangle, this code would fail and we would need to write another function for it. But that's something that we'll discuss further in the next lesson. Cool. So before we end the lesson, I just want to give you a real life example of how we can use objects and functions together. For example, in your phone, you should have an application for all your contacts. So in here, each contact is basically an object. And for each contact, we can store these properties, the name, the picture, description, and the phone number. And some functions that we may want to use on these contacts are to call them and also to edit the contacts. So therefore, by grouping everything into objects, we're able to organize our code in a clean and concise way. So that way for each contact object, we're able to do the operations call, edit, and we're able to get these properties, name, picture, description, and number. And hopefully that made sense. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson.